Okay, dudes, part three of our visit to Impact Guns, one of their retail locations. Uh, I left off talking about this gun. This is a heavy barrel uh, Mini 14. I was telling you how I wrote a letter to Bill Ruger. I'm not kidding about that. I'm dead serious. I told him this was a long time ago, 10 years ago. I forget. You'll see. I'll show you the letter. Maybe I'll make it as an addendum to this video. But I told him, hey, you need to come out with a heavy barreled, accurate version of the Mini 14. And at the time, uh, accuracy, system, accuracy Systems International down in Odessa, Texas was doing versions of the heavy barrel Mini. But man, were they expensive. I mean, you were going to pop a, a grand into your Mini to get it converted over to heavy barrel version. Uh, at the time, Bill Ruger and those guys, they were thinking about making, they, and I'll just say this, Ruger is kind of anti-tactical, it seems sometimes. And that, at least they were, they they were thinking at the time the assault weapons ban was passing, hey, let's make this a blind clip. In other words, let's not allow it to accept removable clips just so we can call it a hunting rifle. And in my letter I said, hey, make it a tactical heavy bar barreled rifle uh, as light as way as possible. Now, the cool thing about this version they have here is they've retrofitted it with a Hogue overmolded stock. I think that's a great addition to that. Um, because I do not like the heavy laminated stock that this gun comes with. Um, now they did still go with kind of the hunting motif on the heavy barreled Ruger and they have a harmonic dampener that you can move aft and forward to fine tune the barrel harmonics to make it more accurate. No problem with that. I really wish that they would have just gone with a straight heavy barrel and give me the option to mount a flash suppressor or suppressor on the end of it. Sorry about the background noise, by the way, but that's just a price that we're going to have to deal with in order to have these reviews. Let's see what the weight on this is. Yeah, it's definitely Ford heavy, and I would expect that, but you know what? It's not too bad. And it, if you're looking at a Ruger Mini 14, this is pretty much how I would go, just like these guys got it. Put a, Get rid of that laminated stock on it. Put uh, either a Butler Creek stock on it, which I think are very lightweight and have excellent checkering. Or you could go with the one they have, that over-molded Hogue. I think that's an excellent stock, too. So that's a nice gun. Is it on par with an uh, AR? Well, I've heard that it's very accurate. And it has been schooling some guys in some AR clinics and competitions. I'll leave it at that. I think it's a good gun. But I have not shot that particular model. All right, and then we go to the AR rack. Man, there's a lot of ARs here, dudes. Let's walk around here and see what we got. There's a lot of philosophies about ARs. Everyone's an expert. I realize that. And there's a lot, a lot of disinformation about ARs. And people get very brand myopic. And what do I mean by that? In other words, they hear an internet rumor about a certain brand, and then they run with it, and that rumor becomes internet fact. You know, oh, I knew a guy that had a Bushmaster, and that gun broke on him. Bushmaster suck. I've seen that over and over, and most of it is just crap. Um, most of the Bushmasters are very good guns. Now, are they as good as a Colt that has mil-spec internals and all that? No, probably not. For the average civilian shooter, it won't matter. You probably will never shoot it enough to ever know the difference. Now, if you're a competitor and you're going to be putting thousands and thousands of rounds through your gun, I would definitely probably spend the money on something like a Colt or maybe a Saber Industries that's totally mil-spec and you know has a, a mil-spec bolt and bolt carrier, state gas key, and all that other stuff. Then it's worthwhile. If you're just a civilian, you want a defensive firearm, and you don't think that you'll ever need it, I think you might be wasting your money. Uh, on, on buying something like this. If you like having the best, then by all means, buy. Here's a Sabre right here. That's SAB 16 inch barrel. That's XR 15A3. This is an outstanding gun. Sabres are awesome. Very nice. I'll talk more about ARs to go, though. Oh, it's getting noisy in here, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and start my tabletop reviews. Thank you again to Impact. I surely appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, they allow me to have Reign of the Store to bring you some very detailed and in-your-face reviews. Nothing fancy. More, more coming at you.